Hey everyone, The Pink Mac here with another weekly tech roundup. Um, sorry, I'm not going to be showing my video tonight. Um, it's kind of late, you can see on my screen it's 10, 10 p.m. And I've had a very long uh, four-day weekend. I actually took a few days off of work um, just to do some, you know, summer stuff. So, um... I'm really tired and worn down, so I'm not going to be showing my video, but I do have a few stories for you. Um, if you've been checking out my blog, you can see that I've unnaturally been blogging a lot um, since Friday because I had a four-day weekend and I had a lot of time to think about tech. Um, and I'm a little worried. It was a little bit too much time, I think, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. I, I love thinking about tech, so it's not a, really a problem. But it did cause a problem because my first story um, is actually one of my Diary of a Mac Chick entries that I like to do every once in a while. Um, basically about my utter obsession with my white MacBook, the one that I just replaced with this beautiful new aluminum MacBook Pro. And so I'm kind of having a little bit of, you know, separation anxiety from it, I guess, because I just don't want to get rid of it. Um... It still works. It's still in amazing condition. So I, I don't know. I'm kind of like torn because I want to sell it and I want to keep it at the same time. So if anyone has any, you know, advice for that, I would really appreciate it because I'm kind of having a big issue with it right now. Um, and yeah, I mean, does anyone out there ever have this problem that you, you maybe replace something like an iPod or a computer or some other tech gadget, but you're still, you know, you still want to use the other one, you know, the old one, even though you got a bigger and better model. Um, I'm sure this has happened to others before, so I'm hoping someone will be able to give me some good stories or tips or advice on how to handle this to get me through it. Um, my second story, though, is about Time Capsule. If you were reading my blog, I updated that a uh, time capsule is now being sold the one terabyte model for two ninety nine and then the two terabyte is four ninety nine so they kind of gave that a spec bump slash price drop so I'm kind of thinking about getting time capsule now that the one terabyte is down to two ninety nine i'm not I'm still not a hundred percent sure if I'm gonna get it, but I really would like the I really like the idea of having the wireless backup. I wouldn't use it so much for the Wi-Fi base station, although that could come in handy. I really am mostly just interested in it as a wireless backup system. So, um, you know, I do have an Airport Express, but it doesn't back up the way Time Capsule does. You know, I really would like to take full advantage of, you know, my time machine on my Leopard. So, yeah, thinking about that, giving it some serious thought. The third and final thing that I wanted to talk about in this weekly tech roundup is CES 2010. If you're not familiar, CES stands for Consumer Electronics Show. Um, and basically, it's when all of the consumer electronics people... Um, go out and they have, you know, exhibits and you can go take a look at all that stuff. Unfortunately, it's not really open to the public, which I kind of don't understand. But um, if you can see here, if you register before October 1st, it's free. I'm seriously thinking about registering, but I don't know if I'll be able to take the time off of work. So that's always something I have to worry about. Not to mention I'd have to go fly down to Las Vegas for it. But, you know, I really am interested. One of these days I really have to go to a CES or a Macworld or something like that because I always kind of follow them from my computer, all of the updates and, you know, different, you know, different websites um, and organizations go down and, you know, will live blog, you know, different things. But I would really like to go to one of them one of these days. Um, I think it would be a really good experience. But um, I don't know if you heard, but Apple apparently is not attending CES in 2010, so that sparked a little bit of controversy, but I still think it could be worth it to go. 
but like I said, you have to apparently be involved with involved, sorry, with consumer electronic industry um, in order to go. But I think I'd be able to get in. I mean, I do have a blog about tech, so I'm part of the industry, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I know it was kind of boring, but it was short and sweet, and, you know, that's always good. Oh, by the way, if you like my background, you can go to my blog, and I've got a link to my Flickr, and you can download it. This is the new Deskscape that I've designed. I think I'm going to do a video on how I made it and get a little bit more into it, but I didn't have the time this weekend because I was kind of busy. So, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and rate and comment my videos. Also, if you don't remember, you can AIM instant message me on iChat, AIM, whatever it is that you use. I have a screen name that I am now trying to keep on as much as possible. It's the Pink Mac blog, and I'm going to have it pop up on the screen so you can see that. So yeah, check out my blog. Message me on iChat, um, and I'll see you later.